Hello everyone, Partner John here. Now I'm going to record Dark Sorcery Guide, Episode 2. Here we have the Firelink Shrine, and as you see in my corner I have 500 souls, and I'm going to show you where to buy the cooperative item. At the Merchant Lady, or Handmaiden, whatever you like to call her. And we're going to skip her dialogue, and see this item here? White Sign Soapstone. It's, it's the item that you want. You do not want the homeward pawn, we've got plenty of those, but you can also see there are other variety of items that you can hear. Maybe buy a wooden arrow just for the lulls. Ashen one. But now that's out of the way. We're gonna morph into High is it High Wall of Lothric? Yeah, High Wall of Lothric. And that is our next destination after the Firelink Shrine. Now, there are, is that one direct direction that you have to go through, and you can basically clear the area with ease, but if you get invaded by Twinks, now that's a whole nother story. Now, we spawn here for some reason, I don't know, but also note this, Note that there was little to any hints about it outside the fire keeper maybe saying go head towards the Lothric uh, castle and you wouldn't know that you would have to go through the bonfire so you have to go through the bonfire to reach this location oh by the way you can see these signs down here those are summoning signs and I could put down my summoning sign right here you see all of them disappear because I put down a sign and there's me and I can just get rid of it like that. So I'm gonna just gonna go kill this guy over here real quick. In case I do not die and I manage to go the whole circle of this area. So yeah. Now this area has this new enemies, these guys. They're just reskinned uh, from the other guys, but here's a brand new enemy. This guy shouts and calls people to help him, but we won't allow him. And then we poke this guy. And then I'm gonna go back up. And we're gonna go grab the item over here. It's a soul bubble. And... Ignoring this guy. And then we go, here's another bell guy. Get out of here, lantern man. And we can see a bunch of guys over here, curling up. And easy to kill. Da da. And die. And die. And so on. And there's other guys over here. Oh, as you notice, there's a guy's gonna sneak up over here. Ah, we don't want to. Get out of my face. Gonna get up. Get this guy. And look. The most efficient weapon of all. The binoculars. Ah, yes. I remember this item very well. It allows me to see far and wide. As we can see, there's nothing. But we can see over there. And... This is a terrible viewpoint. Oh. Wait, what do we have over there? Look at these items and those guys over there. This is a treasure trove. Must be. I don't know. It's a trap. Maybe. Who knows. But oh well. I got the binoculars, but the main reason we go over here is because of this nifty little item. Golden Pine Resin. It allows us to put lightning damage on a weapon for a short period of time. And it's good against the boss up ahead. It's also good against another bosses, but I rarely use this item because... Either I'm stupid or just stubborn that I don't want to use life hacks. Uh, a soul bobble. Now, we got a shield guy and a bow guy. Shield guy, die. Fuck you. Get over here. Come on. I dare you. Poke you. Wow. I'm just gonna go up here. And hope for the best that I do not fail. You gotta kill me! I got the yes! Oh, 
We've got this. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, no. Just the binocular where the dragon is. <laughs> Just heal myself. And ignite the dragon. Come on, big boy. I know you wanna. Come on. What? Oh no. So we get the claymore, but we lack the dexterity to hold it, so I'll just let the dragon do his thing. And no item drops, guys, you are really greedy today. So the claymore is gonna be useful later. I could decide to use it now or decide to use my levels to increase my dexterity and two hand the thing. But then I won't be able to use the shield. But I do a sh tons of damage. Oh, there's a knight over there. Hey. Don't think I didn't notice you, boy. Get over here. Come on, come on. And backstab. Now these knights are really, really annoying, for one reason only. They can do shield bashes, and those things drain your stamina like there's no tomorrow. See what happened there? Ah. Ah! I'd rather take the damage than lose the, the endurance. Get, get, get over here! Oh no! I just want to get the backstab, man! Give me an item. You give me an item. Right in there. Oh well. You won't listen to me. So. I'm going to try to avoid using the bonfire. Just because. Challenge reasons. Uh, mainly because. I don't want to reset the whole world. And stuff. But looking at my track record at the moment, I'm not doing so hot. But I'm still gonna do it. And it's a challenge. It's a lovely challenge. And here we have a firebomb. Now, the upcoming enemy is really weak against fire, so it's good to have firebombs. But not these guys. This is just a guy with a knife that can be easily blocked. Look. See? No problem. Most of these enemies are not problem. It's the knights that are really annoying in this area, but... If you get a parrying, then they are no problem for you whatsoever. So... Look, 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 look. Ah! I took a hit. Damn you! This normally doesn't happen. But I'm trying to backstab the guy. Stab? I tried to backstab the guy. It didn't work. Sad face. But yeah, I'm gonna swap out the binocular. I know how OP the binoculars are, but we're gonna use the fire bombs now. And you don't have to use the ladder. Look, nifty tricks. And we're gonna summon Cthulhu, I think. Hey, buddy. Want a morph? He's a power ranger now. Look, he mighty morph. And now we're gonna pop him. Not too long. Don't. Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh, you've got come on! Fireball! Again! Ugh. Spam it! Projectiles! And he's dead. See, our reward from killing this guy like this is a tiny night shard and an amber. Amber alert. Sorry, I had to make that joke. And... Right over here is a guy. He's really annoying because he keeps on running. Get back right here. But they usually drop some of, like... Char like... Like, uh, gems or... Titanite shard or... Whatever that can upgrade your weapon is what they can drop but it's it depends on where the location is and 
you don't always get the the best of the best. Let's see, I, that arrow went through. How am I not dead? I do not know. I got a new longsword though. Just ch chug it and we're about to face what I consider the most annoying knight of the ball. But oh well. Yeah. That bell guy would announce that I was here and this guy would have showed up and there's also another hidden enemy that I'd like to show you. And that enemy, he dwells behind the pots. I got pains. Do I dare challenge the mighty knight? Oh, hello, mighty knight. Bring it! No. Shield pass for you. Backstab! And thrust. Haha, <laughs> you will not get me. No shield bashing. No splint. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. No. This is. He's using moves. So, we got him. No item drops. Boy, howdy, they are really greedy. But we got a flask, so that's all that matters. I just hope I won't be invaded, because that would be a very, very difficult task. With all that life points I don't have. And here, right here, is the broadsword. If you would pick the pyromancer, or any of the other class, and you would have at least 10 in dexterity, this would be a optimal weapon. As of this moment. And here we got this guy hiding. And right over here is a shield that can protect you 100%. As you can see here, physical 100, physical 100, but it has terrible stats and everything else. But, see this shield here? He, this would not protect you 100% against a physical. Because it's 55. It means you, if you were to block with that shield, you would have still received... 45% of the damage that you would normally receive. Now this is tricky dicky. And I wasted barrels. Oh well. I was just gonna show you how to use the barrels, but uh, I failed. Oh, I've never seen a dog over there. Get over here, dog. Look, he's scratching his bag. How cute. Hey, hey, hey. Gotcha. Now, the enemies as of now are either avoidable or just easy to block. Just look at this. Look at this guy. He got nothing on me. He's just a backwater peasant, I think. And, yeah, that's the power of having a shield that can block 100% physical. Ah, get over here. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Spank you. Stab you from behind. And then thrust attack. Rinse and repeat. These guys are that easy. Ah, uh, yeah, you got nothing on me. Come on. They have really odd facts, I must admit that. And then there are this, this doggy over here. Oh, hi, doggy. Bop. And we got cell keys. Now the cell keys, by the way, we had Estus, and we've been collecting Estus shard, and the Titanite shard, as well. But this cell key is for getting a NPC out of a prison cell. Come on, yes. 
This guy. This guy. He's funny. He tells jokes. He's big and he's ugly and he's about to whoop my ass. Ah! No! There we go. <laughs> Pure dumb luck, I say. <laughs> No, 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 Bad boy. Stay down. Yeah. Ha ha. Yes. By the way, the emote is like the opposite direction where you can enter your equipment and setting screen. It's the opposite button of that. Oh. We got a guy with a bow and arrow over here. Stab you, I will. And you too. Now, why, Arnor, why, why, where am I going? Well, I took a little bit of detour. Normally, you would go over there. Look, look, look over there. Right over there. At the door over there, because that, you know how we continue the story, but I'm opening a shortcut. And that is way more efficient than what I'm about to do. Ring of Sacrifice. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump down here. I can't believe that that made me lose so much HP. These, these fall damage are really bizarre, I must say. Like, you saw the drop that I made in the last previous episode, and... That was just twice... This is just twice as much as for the less fall. Oh yeah, Let's check out this guy. He's a fun guy. But these guys are way more fun because that's how they work. But we took care of it like professionals and I'm going to show you the shortcut. And we have a enough souls to level up one more time but i think i will level up my dexterity a little bit because i want to use a claymore it's a fun weapon but i could go to the firelink bonfire at the moment but i don't wanna i'm going to try my best to take care of the upcoming nights and try to show a little bit more of this area and after that, I will warp myself out to the Firelink Shrine. Uh, I will show you a summoning sign. This is an NPC, by the way, so he's always going to be here, no matter what, unless you do something crazy. Albert is coming to town, and I'm going to run. Book it. Come on, Albert. Show him what you got. Come on. Oh, save me, you son of a bitch. And we did it. <laughs> we got not the thing that I want. I did not want their lands. So, let's get rid of this guy. And oh, come on, Albert. Yes, yes. Aggravate him. Yes. A no, don't aggravate me. Big silly string. <laughs> yes, Albert. Attack him. Now I can backstab him. And charge attack. Oh my god, that was nice. All right, Albert. On to the next guy. I should not be doing this. <laughs> so, Albert, get over here. I need a friend. You got a friend, didn't he? Okay, he's gonna attack this guy now. Alright, Albert. Backstab. See, now the knives are really super easy. Because I got a friend. And whose name is Albert. And he's an NPC. He has no soul. But. Right over here. We got a big boy over here. 
and I think it's a high reward as of this moment. And once we're done with him, I think I will call it a good for this this guide as of yet. All right. No. Don't, don't be a bully to Albert. He's a, he's a good, gentle soul. <laughs> I gotta love Albert. He's trying his best. I gotta save him. Come on, guys. You gotta show Albert some love. Bye bye, Albert. You're on your own, man. Get him, Albert. We're done. Yeah. Go, Albert. Go, Albert. Go. Yeah, kick him. Come on. Albert, do something. No! And that's the end of that tutorial. Don't be greedy, kids. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time. Our Dark Souls Guide. Bye-bye.